Hi sewing friends, welcome to another video. I don't know about you guys, but with all of this quarantine stuff, I really needed some retail therapy. And thankfully, I'm seeing a number of pattern sales going on. So I have been taking the opportunity to stock up on some patterns. And in today's video, I will be sharing a big four or commercial pattern haul. So just before our lockdown started, I actually ordered some patterns from Vogue and McCall's. They were having a sale and I actually ordered a few paper patterns, which I very rarely do. But it was from the new collection, so the McCall's was not available in PDFs yet. And as we know, Vogue's are not available as PDFs at all. I was so lucky to receive these in the mail like the week before we shut down and i'm really excited about all of them so i can't wait to show you also right after that happened there was a crazy blowout out of print sale on the macaws website there were a lot of pdfs on macaws and butterick marked down and because i am part of the membership club i got them for one dollar and 19 cents us which is absolutely insane so I have a ton of those to share with you guys as well. So let's get started. For the paper patterns, I got one from McCall's. This is it, it's M8030. This is one of the new patterns for spring. It's a shirt dress pattern. And if you didn't know, McCall's has completely rebranded. We now have hashtags and this one is hashtag Josie McCall's. What I like about this pattern is that it goes from extra small to extra large, all in this one packet and from what I can tell it's a very loose fitting dress. The reason I got this pattern is because I've been following Soya View on Instagram and most of the time I can't participate because by the time the patterns are announced it will be too late for me to order them and most of the patterns were not available as PDFs like they used to do a lot of simplicity patterns but what they did was they put the schedule for the next couple months so we could see what patterns are coming so you can grab them in the sales or whatever. I got this even though this is all the way down in June <laughs> and I actually have my eye on View A. Although View C does look really cute with that belt as well. So not too sure yet but hopefully we get off this lockdown soon so I can go and pick out some fabric for this and keep it so that I'm ready when June comes around. Now on to the Vogue patterns. The first Vogue pattern I got you will probably recognize because it was all over Instagram this last month. Fabric Mart and Vogue had a partnership. They were having the yellow dress challenge and this is the pattern that was used for that. It's Vogue 1671. I absolutely love this dress and I love both the solid and the one with the contrast so i don't even know where i'm going with this unfortunately i didn't get the chance to participate in this challenge because we were already on lockdown <laughs> i couldn't pick up the fabric all the fabric stores were closed also do you see those shoes with that yellow dress so so cute so yeah this is the next pattern i picked up then i also picked up a vogue 1683 and this is a skirt pattern and this one, I just absolutely love the black and white version that the model is wearing. Fabric recommendations for this one. Crepe linen gabardine. I think it would look really stunning in a crepe because you're going to have that drape. I'm not sure if I would do it in linen unless it's a pretty lightweight linen. Because I really think that the drape is important for this style. And then the next Vogue pattern I got, I actually already have fabric for this one. And this is a sparkly sequin number and I will be using sequins for this. I am going for view A, the shorter version. This is Vogue 1657. It is a lined pullover dress, so it's made for stretch fabrics, stretch sequins, rayon spandex, icy white knits, and lining is Trico or lightweight jersey. I love the long one as well, but that will take a lot, a lot of fabric. So I think I'm just gonna go for the short one. It's kind of like kimono sleeves. These are the line drawings. So I'm gonna go show you the fabric that I have for this now.
So those are all the paper patterns I got sent in the mail. Now on to my huge order of PDF out of print patterns. If you see me looking down, I have tablets on hand so that I can see all the patterns, get all the numbers for you guys and everything. So the first one is McCall's 7800. This is a pullover dress with a little button at the top and a keyhole. This dress has four views. View A has a very interesting sleeve that I've never seen before. And to be honest, I don't think I will ever wear that sleeve. It looks really strange to me. I don't know how you guys feel. View B has a poofy sleeve with a cuff. View C also has a poofy sleeve with a cuff, but it's slightly less dramatic. And it also has a pussy bow. And then view D is the one that the model is wearing. That one has the same poofy sleeve, but then there's a flare on top of that. And then it also has a V slit at the neck. I actually already made this dress. I made this dress for hashtag virtual frocktails that was going on on Instagram. I made a combination of view B and C and I'm going to do a separate video on that so stay tuned. But yeah I really like this dress. It's a very simple dress. It was easy to fit and had absolutely no issues making this at all. Still cannot believe I scored this dress for a dollar and 19 cents. Like to me, this could be a special occasion dress if you choose the right fabric. If you use jacquard or brocade, you can totally wear this to a wedding. The next pattern I picked up is very, very different for me. It is the first cosplay pattern I've ever downloaded and it is McCall's M7733. And this is one by the popular Yaya Han. Now, I just have a thing for jackets. If you've been following me for a while, you already know I have a thing for jackets. And it's not that I need them because I'm currently sweltering in this sweater. But I just have a thing for jackets. I just like the way they look. And this one has a ton of options. There are six views in this pattern, which is a real steal for a dollar and 19 cents. I have no idea at which point I will make this or what occasion I will make it for, but I could not pass up this pattern for a dollar and 19 cents. I think it will be perfect in corduroy. It will be perfect in suede denim you name it the one thing i can assure you is that i will not be making the view that she's that she's wearing with the sherpa i definitely will not be making that one <laughs> mine will be a lot more regular and a lot more suitable to my lifestyle and my climate this next pattern is a pretty popular one in the online sewing community it is macaws m7549 and this is another pattern that gives you a ton of options because there's quilting or you could do binding you could do contrast view b looks to me like it could be a french jacket or a chanel jacket so again i don't have any immediate plans for this jacket but i do know that it's going to come in handy at some point point. and so many people have made this that there's a ton of inspiration online and their reviews on sewingpassionreviews.com so good to go. This next pattern I picked up, I fell in love with the design lines. It's McCall's M7464. And there are contrast panels on the side. Well, you don't have to make it in contrast, but it gives you the option to do contrast or piping. I feel like you can get really creative with this design. You also have the option for these big patch pockets on the front. I love UB, the view that the model is wearing. I actually like it in a very busy print. Um, I'm not really a solid cyber person. I guess you would have noticed if you've been following me for some time. So I actually do like it in this print. The only change I would make if I had that exact fabric is that I would do like hot pink piping. Just for a little pop of color and just to separate the side panels. Other than that, I absolutely love the one that she's wearing. View B. So this pattern I'm thinking I will make for church or my sister-in-law is a teacher and she's been bugging me to make her clothes and I feel like this dress would flatter her figure really really well. I just think it's a dress that would look really gorgeous on her. I think she would love it. So that is the reason why I picked this one up. The next two patterns I got are way way out of my comfort zone. I've never made active wear before. No sort of leggings or anything. The closest I got to active wear was trying joggers and that was a complete fail. So this is way out of my comfort zone but i got a spin bike last year and i have been using it but i really need some exercise clothes so this first active wear pattern i got is mccall's m7578 and this pattern comes with leggings there's a crop top kind of like a sports bra there's a tank and then there's a tank dress I don't think I'm ever gonna make the tank dress, but I think that would look so cute for somebody who plays tennis. And my sister-in-law plays tennis. Not the one that teaches, 
my other sister in law plays tennis. So maybe one of these days she can get a cute little tennis dress. But for me, I'm looking at the sports bra and the leggings for when I'm spinning. Again, what I like about all these patterns is the contrast. I, I don't know, I just, right now I'm really into color blocking. It's a lot more exciting than just a plain solid. And I like the idea of mixing prints and solids. And again, I don't know why I'm thinking black and white with pink. And I do have a black and white active wear fabric. It actually has a wood grain print. And funny enough, my surname is wood. So <laughs> that's really cool. And I'm thinking that I want to mix it with hot pink. And the fact that this was $1.19 is amazing for me because since I've never made active wear before, I didn't want to invest in a more expensive pattern just yet until I get the hang of things, figure out what I'm doing, figure out if I even like making active wear and then I could move on to something a little bit more advanced. But for starters, I think this is a steal. And the next active wear pattern I got is M7663. This is just so cute. This whole set is just so, so cute. I love the tank that ties in the back. That's just so cute to go over your sports bra, especially if you're going out in public. If you're not comfortable in just a sports bra and leggings, then that tank is really cute. Then there's also the option of the hoodie. I absolutely love the hoodie. I don't know when I will ever be outside in active wear to wear this hoodie, but I feel like if I could wear this hoodie regularly, like depending on what fabric I use, this could be a normal everyday hoodie not necessarily active wear. So this pattern actually doesn't come with a sports bra and that's why I got the two patterns because I figured I could mix and match. And again, the style lines on the leggings are low for contrasting. Yes, yeah, stay tuned to see me try some active wear for the first time. I'm definitely gonna be vlogging about it and you don't wanna miss it. It could be an ultimate fail, who knows, but positive vibes only. It's gonna be awesome. Final pattern I got from the outer print sale is actually a butter pattern and it's B5982. And if it wasn't for isolation, this would have been my perfect Easter dress. Would be my perfect dress to wear to church for Easter Sunday. <sighs> Maybe I may just have to put this up for next year. So it's a gathered waist dress. And of course there are different views. There's the v-neck, there's the boat neck. You can make it with sleeves, without sleeves. There's also the cutest little belt ever and that is included in the pattern. So you will be making your own belt. I'm really, really excited about that. I think it's so cute. I just absolutely loved View B. I really wanted to replicate View B for Easter with those pastels, the color blocking. So, so sweet. And the biggest plus of this dress is that it has cup sizes. Amen, hallelujah. I love when a pattern has cup sizes also a lot of these patterns are petite which are perfect for me because i have a petite frame although i'm a little bit chunky i do have a petite frame and i'm short-waisted so these petite patterns mean i would have less alterations to do some of these patterns are still on sale if you wanted to pick them up they're not on sale for a dollar 19 cents i feel like if that was a one-time thing I'm not even sure I'll ever see that again in my lifetime, which is why I was so excited to grab these. But some of them are on sale for around $9 or $10. But yes, those are all the patterns I picked up from the big four companies. I got three Vogue's, one Butterick, and all the rest were McCall's. I got four paper patterns total and seven PDF patterns. Now, I'm not gonna lie, putting together the big four PDFs, they take a lot of paper, they take a lot of ink, and they take a lot of energy and effort and time. But so far, I have not had any issues. Everything lines up perfectly. I'm also super grateful that they started doing PDF patterns because for people like me who do not have access to the regular paper patterns unless I order, which can be expensive or I'm running the risk of them showing up way late the pdf patterns are really really great help so yeah i'm really really excited about all these patterns like i said i already made one i have no idea which one i'm gonna make next if any of you have made these patterns and you have any tips please let me know in the comments below or if any of you are planning to make any of these patterns and you want to do a little collab hit me up I'm definitely open to doing collabs now that we have a little bit more time on our hands. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you loved seeing my big, big four pattern haul. Let me know if you've been grabbing any of the sale patterns because I know it's not just me. If you did like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up 
and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already i will really appreciate that also click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post a new video that is it for me today and i will catch you in my next one bye